guys and welcome back to another video. I'm actually really excited today. I uh, haven't been able to get out fishing for the longest time it feels like. I try to get out a little bit a day, maybe an hour or so, but by the time I'm off work, it's either too late in the day and the sun's going down or I'm exhausted and I can't get myself to go out and go fishing. So today, we're gonna do some uh, trout fishing, early morning trout fishing. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I'm gonna head out to Elton Dam. Uh, that's where I caught a lot of nice trout. Uh, actually with Ferg, that, that, uh, the day that he made a competition without me knowing. <laughs> so we're gonna go out there. I guarantee he's gonna wanna have another competition. So we're gonna have to see uh, what they're biting on and everything before he gets here. Again, I am actually meeting him up here today. So I'm gonna get in a little bit earlier than him, try to throw some stuff before he gets in there so I know what they're biting on, and we will be able to catch more fish than, uh, than him this time. He also mentioned about going to uh, uh, the Queen Mahoming Dam to go bass fishing. I don't know what we're gonna do uh, later on in the day, but I heard it's supposed to pour. Right now, it's beautiful out. I mean, very little cloud cover, uh, blue skies, but that could change in a, in a snap of a finger at Johnstown, so, um, or in, P, in Johnstown, PA in general. So, I uh, just wanted to let you guys know what the plan was today. We're gonna go trout fishing, hopefully get us some nice, nice brooks and, uh, maybe a rainbow you know whatever whatever they have stocked up here so we're gonna see that in a second and I'll have my chest mount on when we're ready to go okay guys so we got here I am walking to the spot Ferg has not got here but there are two other people here two other cars so we're gonna hope to God that they're not in my spot and if they are we're gonna have to cross the the creek here and get to our good spot but hey that's what fishing's all about. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love Johnson baits, so especially for fishing. So this is the minnow spin, one eighth ounce, um, silver color. It's an awesome, awesome lure to use. So I'm gonna toss this out. All right, guys. So I'm just been pitching this around, and I've been realizing. There's a couple more people out here, and I've talked to them, and they haven't caught anything today. Um, it's super windy out. Um, I don't know what that's about, but it's beautiful out. It's just windy as all heck. And they said they've been out here since dawn, and nothing has bit on anything. So that kind of gets my hopes down, but we're going to hope to God that at least catch one trout here. That would be pretty cool if we could at least land one trout. So... We'll see here in moments to come. Okay, guys, so we just got back from Elton. Um, we fished there for about an hour and a half, and we didn't catch anything at all. So we threw uh, a lot of different lures and stuff. So we're going to a different stream out in Bedford. So we're going to hopefully catch something. I'm going to throw my chest mount on, and we're going to get Bedford out here and fish Springs, it. Bedford Springs, bro. There's a difference. All right, well, we're here at Bedford Springs, and we're going to fish it and hopefully catch us some whoppers. Okay, guys, so we are actually right across from the presidential suites. Uh, Ferg's dad is the, I guess, the huge golfer here. So we're allowed to fish here, which is awesome. Apparently there's really good fishing. So we're gonna fish under this bridge for a little bit. Hopefully catch us some nice trout. Ferg first cast, caught one. Oh. oh yeah dude I just caught one caught a nice little bass look at that cool I caught a little bass nice get her here see that in there he uh, saw two palominos he's trying dude, to get these them. palominos were nice <laughs> that nice little fish, fish throw them back get them going now Ferg caught one fish and I caught Two. one bass. Two. It counts as one, it wasn't on camera. Hey, fishing. We show so we switched back over to the stream and hopefully we can rip some trout out from out of here. So I'll keep the chest mount on and 
hope to God that we reel in a few more fish. Uh, Ferg did catch a trout and I caught a small mouth bass. So we're going to hope that we at least catch a couple more. So, oh, it almost looks like a, a little mint or a big minnow, a giant minnow. Ferg, I just caught one. Look how small this thing is. I can't even fit my finger. Little small fish. Huh. On that lure here, we're gonna send him back out. Oh, come on, buddy. Catch your breath. There he goes. Nice. Oh no, it came off. Hold on, let me see if I can catch him. Oh, I had my third fish on, but he came off right at the end. Got another little fish here. I think this one's a little bass. Yeah, this one's a nice little bass. Nice little fish there in this stream. I can't believe I'm getting more bass hits than I am trout. So third fish of the day right there, baby. I'm gonna throw him back. Nice. So it seems like they're only biting small little lures. Um, even the trout are kind of hesitant to bite these lures. So it's kind of a hard game to play these fish. And I'm also getting caught up on every rock you could think of that's in this little pond here or in this stream. Oh, so every time I pull it, I pull it that far back up. It's just a mess. So. We're gonna keep fishing it. Ferg just caught a nice, what is that, a trout or a bass? Oh. Trout. Well, I don't know what it is. What is that? It's a carp. It's a carp. No. Dude, look at its scales. Look at its mouth. Look at this is mouth. Could be. Definitely could be. Beautiful. Did you pack, uh, like, you it's so pretty here. What? Fishing on the ledge here kind of scared not gonna lie Shane, did you able to get down there? yeah it's not that bad of a ledge put it on the ledge and then get it it's so much better it's safer too I have balance so Whoa, 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 whoa. I just caught the biggest Yeah, dude. Dude, his teeth are razor sharp. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, stay still, stay still. I'm just trying to get the hook out. I'm just trying to get the hook out. Dude, he freaking swallowed that thing. It's stuck on his tongue. There, got it. But look how nice that fish is. Wow. On this little ledge, on that little spinner bait, on that minnow spin. Beautiful fish, look at that. Hey. That was the coolest experience I've ever had on that tiny little ledge. I caught that fish, but we're just hitting this stream hard. I mean, anything and everything is biting right now, so it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the reel in on that nice trout, but hopefully, I can catch another one and get the reel in. It's just, I was on that tiny ledge and I didn't want to fall off. I wanted to land the fish and just get a video of him because he was so pretty in the water. So hopefully we'll catch another whopper here. Th this is what I caught the first time. Look at this tiny little thing. Dude, another. No! 
Oh, <laughs> Bert just lost his lure and I just caught a fish. Woo! Look how tiny that little thing is. Come here, you got your phone. Nice fish, nice little small fish. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for biting my lure and making me have confidence in myself. All right, guys, so I don't know how many fish I've caught so far. I don't know what number I'm on, but uh, all I know is these minnow spins by Johnson, they are awesome. I highly suggest them, anybody who wants to use them. Uh, any of the sizes work in these small little streams. They're just an amazing lure to use. So shout out to Johnson for making a awesome, awesome lure. But I'm walking along this ledge here, trying to get back to where we originally were, where I caught that big, big trout. Oh my God. I just caught the biggest trout ever. I can't even get my hands around him. Why is he bleeding so bad? Stay. Oh, I... That's a nice size trout. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh, he's moving around. He's wiggling. Well, isn't that neat? Thank you, man. <laughs> I literally wasn't catching anything for like 40 minutes, and then this guy shows up. Where's your fish? And I catch this freaking whopper. He is bleeding like crazy, though. Oh, oh I'm going to show his. Look at that brownie. Oh. Yeah. Look at that brownie. Oh my god, such a nice fish. Whew. Beautiful fish. Probably 15 inches long, probably weighs about a pound and a half. Awesome fish. All right, guys, so it's the next day from fishing, a long day yesterday. I was looking over the footage and I realized that me and Ferg never did an outro. Well, Ferg left, he went back to Pittsburgh, and <clears throat> I'm literally just like, well, I better do an outro for the video. So we actually did a really, really nice job yesterday. I don't know how many fish we caught. I know I looked over the footage, but I couldn't have, I couldn't count how many fish I caught. Possibly like seven or eight. Um, I know Ferg caught, Ferg caught only, he caught two on camera, but I think he caught four. He caught two more off camera. So like eight to four, something like that. But as I said before, I know I knew he was going to want to do a little competition, but um, he didn't say anything after I started beating him. So I'm going to take this as a, a quick W for, for Team Shane. So right now, um, I'm actually really excited. I'm starting to get... Um, the capabilities of going fishing more often and stuff like that so i really wanted to get trout in i haven't really gone out for trout since me and ferg did the last video which was a couple weeks ago so it was really nice bedford springs couldn't have been any better they treat it treated us so well with the amount of fish that we brought into the shore there were some really tough spots there was that one ledge where i caught that brown trout uh it was probably a foot and a half inch foot and a half wide and you know fishing off that trying to get into those nice coves and I couldn't believe reeling in that nice fish so I had an awesome day Ferg had an awesome day we spent hours out there it was probably from seven to seven yesterday so I couldn't I couldn't be happier with how it turned out um, I did want to say thank you guys for watching this video. It actually was a lot of fun to do it and actually edit it together because we have never caught this many fish in one shot. Uh, it was a long day, especially fishing somewhere that we're not familiar with. Bedford Springs is a private presidential um, area, so you got to have mondo money to be able to even stay there, let alone fish there. And we got the opportunity to fish there, and we couldn't be more thankful. So on to the next fishing trip. and. Thank you guys again for watching us, and hopefully um, we'll be going for bass and stuff like that. I still want to catch that pike. I still do. Uh, it's it's tough to catch pike. I, I can't believe I'm saying it, but I just, I've been trying to even throw out a line a couple hours at night at um, Queen Mahoming and stuff like that, and I still have not got one bite. Yet again, I have heard that pike have been really hard to catch this year, so we'll see if I can if I can seal the deal here before the season ends and it gets it gets really warm out for this summer. So thank you guys for watching again, and we'll see you on the next one.